<laughs> Tell me how you feel about grape soda. Uh, so many things. Uh, it's uh, flavorful. Um, the bubbles in your mouth. Uh, it tickles your palate. Um, there's just a, an explosion of, of grape flavor on the back of your throat. Uh, it usually comes in a 12 pack, 24. I mean, it's never ending. You can never get rid of it. Uh, sometimes you can uh, you could you could substitute it for wine, uh, fool your friends, and then uh, just act drunk. But you're really not. Uh, I like to do that a lot because I <coughs> a weak stomach. Um, <clears throat> nurse. Uh, grape soda has. Uh, you know, a lot of people don't know this, um, but it's it's manufactured in Alaska, uh, and it's it's used um, to he to heal. It's it's a healing potion actually uh, for uh, Eskimos. Um, you know, they uh, they baptize their babies in it. Um, sometimes they from r right from birth, maybe uh, because it's it's warmer than the water in Alaska. So, um, if, like, say you, say you want to have a, a baby and you're an Eskimo and, uh, you know, you have a pool of grape soda and, uh, you give birth directly into the grape soda and you have, like, uh, uh Eskimo dogs, uh, licking the grape soda out while, while you're giving birth, um, and immediately there's a priest, uh, there and, uh, the baby's baptized, uh, uh, umbilical cord attached um, so they see it in a totally different light um, other cultures like uh, uh, the Mayans uh, the ancient Mayans uh, grape soda was a uh, way to um, you know connect with gods uh, so I, I just think about that every time I, I take a sip uh, you know I have it with dinner lunch um, I have uh, put it into a uh, cup, a large cup, uh, filled it to the brim, and uh, stuck my penis in it. No. <laughs>